Hello, I'm Anastasia. So last video we talked about my first cosplay. Today I'm going to talk about something else that I think is pretty important, and that's alternatives to using boning when making evening gowns, corset style tops, or just something that takes a lot of structure. The reason this is so important is because there's a lot of physical conditions that you can't wear boning with. For example, I have scoliosis. I wore a dress with boning one time. It wasn't badly made boning, like it was an expensive homecoming dress. It was well made, but because of how my ribs are, the boning bruised me really badly. It actually cut me, and I was miserable the whole night because this dress hurt so much to wear. It was around that time I began to notice just the sheer amount of wedding dresses, prom dresses, homecoming dresses, you name it, that are unwearable to anybody with any kind of physical abnormality, such as scoliosis, spina bifida, or even just chronic pain, where something being that stiff would make it difficult to breathe or make it painful. So I began looking into alternatives that I could use in making my own clothes, and hopefully someday other people's clothes. There are a couple methods I found that work fairly effectively, which at some point I will put full tutorials up for all of these. The first is your lining. If you use a stiffer fabric to line and then put the decorative fabric over top, some fabrics such as decor fabrics and upholstery fabrics are very firm and structured and can already hold that shape on its own, but still allow the clothing to be breathable that bo in a way that boning just isn't and won't cause that bruising that I mentioned earlier. The second option is a technique I learned when I used to quilt, and that is to take interfacing and iron it along the back. The third method is just fabric choice in general, and character choice. Instead of choosing a character who wears a light silk ball gown, choose a character who wears brocade, and a bet great lining to use for that is linen, because linen holds its shape very well, especially a rough spun or stiffer linen. Now you might still want to put another lining against on the inside that touches against your skin, just because sometimes linen can be a little scratchy when you're using a rough, thicker linen. But those are the main method methods I've found. Like I said, at some point I'll put a tutorial up for all of these if y'all want. Uh, I just figured I should go over all of them first real quick, just to give people a few ideas. If you know any other methods, leave them in the comments below. For now, bye bye!